Hey guys, so in today's video I'll be showing you the main keyboard shortcuts to use in DaVinci Resolve 15 to speed up your editing process. Now I recommend this video for beginners just because I'm going to be going over the main uh, kind of basic uh, keyboard shortcuts that are just going to like speed up the process and well yeah, they're pretty useful if you just started off and you don't know them yet. So we're going to go over the top keyboard shortcuts in DaVinci Resolve 15 for beginners. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so we have a video here in our timeline and it's just been all edited just uh, because it's a video from a couple of weeks ago. So now let's go over a couple of the basic keyboard shortcuts in DaVinci Resolve 15. Okay, so the first one is to uh, zoom in and out of your timeline, and that is just to press Alt and then use the uh, mouse wheel just to zoom in and out where your uh, cursor thingy is. I keep on forgetting the name. I really need to actually find out the name for it. But yeah, it'll just zoom in out to where it is. Now, another way of doing this is just to press Alt and then plus and then Alt and uh, minus, and that's just another way, but I think it's just quicker because I'm using the mouse all the time. I always have my hand on the mouse to just use the the alt and then use the mouse wheel. Now this is very good just because it'll save you from going up here all the time and just pressing these buttons here just because that's going to take up that over a while that's going to take up quite a lot of time and also it's just it's just much easier just to uh, use the shortcuts. So, so now let's go over the basic tools so you press B to get up the blade and you're just able to slice up your footage here and then just slice it all up however you like and just get rid of all the bits that you don't want. Now, I wouldn't have edited a video like that, but yeah, you can use it to just cut up your footage, and then you're, um, and then you can like delete the part that you don't want. And then to go back onto the arrow, you press A, and that just allows you to select your clips. And then you can like do something in the inspector, inspector for them. And then for the trimming tool, you uh, you press T, and then it just allows you to slide your footage in and out. Now, one way that you're able to delete your footage in DaVinci Resolve 15 is just to uh, click on the piece of the clip that you don't want, and then just press backspace, and that deletes it. And then there's just a space here, but then you can uh, click on that space here, and it kind of like highlights it in like grey, and then press backspace again, and that just closes it down, like it brings up the rest of the shot closer so there's no gap there. And then to add a marker onto your footage, you just press M and then it peers up and then you press M again and then you're able to like edit it and add notes. So quite a lot of the time I actually use this for B-roll. If I haven't like filmed my B-roll uh, previously, I just say like um, add B-roll here and then it just kind of reminds me and then it also shows up along this um, timeline up here. So it just allows you to set reminders at certain bits to uh, like do like certain things and you're able to like mark it and also you're able to like change the color there. Okay, so if you want to duplicate a shot, you just uh, press on it and then hold Alt and then drag it upwards and there you have a duplicate of it and you're able to move it along to wherever you want. If you want to dis disable a clip just because if you like, like the clip but you don't want to use it at that precise moment or you just want to keep it for like some reason but you don't want to show it um, in the video at that point, you're able to just click on the shot and then press D and that disables it so it's still there but it doesn't show up in your final edit and then press D again to um, to have it so it shows. Now this would be very useful if you have a multi-camera shot and you have it so the shot is uh, so you have the all the different angles laid on top of each other and you're able just to select the points that you want to be shown and then disable all the other parts that you don't want to be shown from the other angles. Okay, so another one that relates to like the first couple is if you press uh, Shift C that zooms out on your timeline completely and allows you to see it fully. Okay, so another effect that you can do uh, in your footage here, if you uh, click on your shot here, and then if you press Alt T, that adds a crossfade for your footage, and then if you add, uh, and then if you press uh, Shift T, that adds a crossfade to your audio track, and then you're able to adjust them here. So yeah, so there you go. That was a rather short video. No. So yeah, so there you go. That was a rather short video on my uh, top. So there you go. So there you go. That's our short video on my uh, favorite time-saving uh, keyboard shortcuts in DaVinci Resolve 15. Now I hope you've learned something from this video, and I hope it like speeds up your editing process, and you've like kind of uh, you're going to be able to use these in your editing software, in your not your not your editing software, in your in your editing process. That makes more sense, Johnny. Well done. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you're new here, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.